everyone and welcome back to Walcott Fine Art. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to fix a canvas that's either sagging or it might have a spot like pressed into it if there was something leaning against it. Now when you stack canvases, uh, whether they've been used or not, uh, you always want to try to stack them so that the painting in front of it rests against the stretcher bar uh, and not against the canvas because then you will get those spots pressed into it. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I recently had someone ask me uh, about this issue. And so uh, I'm going to show you some quick, real quick tips. Uh, if you have a spot pressed into the canvas where like say something was leaning against it and it made a dent in the surface but the rest of the canvas is still tight, then this stuff called canvas tight works really well. And uh, you can get this online from like Blick or Jerry's. Uh, I got it, I think, at my local art supply store. Um, so you can see the label there. So it's called canvas tight. And this is just a liquid with, I think it's got starch in it or something. Anyway, you just take a big cheap nylon brush like this, dip it in um, the canvas tight, it's a liquid, and then spread it over the spot you know, where the dent is on the back. You want to do it on the back. Don't do it on the front. Do it on the back. If it was, you know, if the dent was here, then you'd spread it on the back of the canvas. You know, pretty well saturated, you know, in an area over where the dent was, and it'll pull that dent tight out of the, out of the fabric. Now, if you have a canvas where the whole thing and this is especially going to be true for linen more than cotton, although cotton canvases can do it too, but linen is really susceptible to changes in humidity. Um, now, I don't actually have a canvas where I can demonstrate this um, right now, but, but I'll explain it with this one. This is a linen canvas from Old Holland. Now, let's say you had this canvas uh, and you hadn't used it yet, or even if there was already a painting on it, and it gets all loose and slack and it's floppy and there are big like waves in it. Then that's what these canvas keys are for. Um, and a lot of times, uh, like if you buy a canvas, sometimes you'll get a bag of them like this, stapled. They'll come stapled to the stretcher. Uh, or sometimes, as with this one, they'll already be inserted. Um, and so you know on a canvas... Here's an example of one without any keys. Um, all canvases have these slots uh, on the inside, on each that where the stretchers fit together. And what what you do if your canvas needs to be tightened is that you insert those keys into those slots, just like you see here, and then you gently tap them in with a hammer. And you have to do each, you know, corner. And then what it does is because this is angled and you're tapping it in, is it, you know, opens up that seam, that miter seam that's at each corner and it pushes it out and stretches the canvas tight again. So that's what these keys are for. So if you have a canvas that you need to tighten up again, you can just insert those keys into each of the corner slots and then gently tap them in with a hammer uh, and it should tighten your your canvas up um, and uh, you know it's a good idea always to like have a, a sheet of plastic like a garbage bag works well um, that you just want to lay your canvas on um, while you're doing that on the table so it doesn't scratch up your canvas or, or mar it or anything uh, and sometimes another thing you can do is um, if you feel like your hammering is a little bit unskilled, <laughs> you can take like a piece of cardboard or something and, uh, it, see, for example, like a piece, yeah, you can take like a piece of cardboard and just very gently slip it underneath, like where the keys are here, slip it underneath like that when you're hammering so that if you hit the canvas, you're not going to poke a hole in the canvas. 
So uh, that's one thing you can do as well if you're doing this. So anyway, I hope that that explains what these keys are for and helps give you some ideas of how to fix canvases that are not stretched tightly. So again, the keys are for stretching the whole thing if it's got big loose areas or big waves in it. And then for individual dents that are in one area, but the rest of the canvas is still tight, then, you, then I would recommend this canvas tight stuff because I've used this uh, to fix uh, dents in my canvas and it really works very well. So uh, I thank you for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!